Sure. Hey guys, Dario here. So here we are at OC6 and we just tried the Oculus Link connection for the Oculus Quest. That's right. That means that you're going to be able to use your Oculus Quest like as a substitute of the Oculus Rift test, pretty much. I'm here with, and you for sure know them already, Voodoo D. Thomas? Yeah, you, hi man? guys, <laughs> I'm fine. You gotta look there, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Cass from Cass and Cherry. Hi guys. And Cherry is there actually, he's filming, so filming. Uh, hey. So uh, we want to give you guys like our first impressions of, uh, of our experience. Fun thing, we have different experiences and different stuff to share because like as you tried Asker Brat, is that correct? Yes, okay. yes, correct. I tried Stormland and... I also uh, tried Stormland. Thomas, yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, tried Stormland too, uh, but we all had different experiences and I think that uh, gives away the fact that we are still in a beta moment, like it's not final yet, this implementation, yeah, right? I think so. True. The cable is very nice, very, very light. Very beautiful cable. That's very right. beautiful cable, I would it's say. It's long, right? Yeah. It's five meter cable. Five yeah, meters right. cable. So it's like 15 feet, pretty much, I think. The conversion should be fine, should be dead. And it's just a USB type C cable. Uh, seems like it's an optic fiber inside, so that's why they have a better bandwidth. Uh, but let's get to the experience. So, uh, first of all, Asgar Vrat, how was it? What do you think? Well, the first thing I noticed, we were in the Oculus Home. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing I noticed was that uh, the, the visuals seemed a bit compressed in there. Okay. But in the game itself, I did not notice that. It was really beautiful, actually. Mm -hmm. And I did not notice any latency or anything. It was a pretty dark game. And since the Quest has OLED screens, it was pretty beautiful. Yeah, yeah. because like, it was bringing out all this stuff that yes. we don't have on the LCD display. Yes. So you saw some compression though, but just at the beginning, not during the game. True. Yeah. Uh, during the loading or during regular use? Uh, regular use in the Oculus Home. So okay. um, it was the regular Rift S Oculus Home, mm -hmm. uh, where you could just move around and stuff in okay. the menu. Yeah, that's Thomas. Very oh, sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> Thomas, what about you? So I chose Stormland because yesterday I had uh, the chance to try Stormland uh, with the normal uh, Rift S, so I could compare it very good today. And um, I didn't see any latency or any problems with the visuals. I, I was very impressed, to be honest, by this uh, experience. So uh, yeah, if you would ask me, I, I would buy the Quest <laughs> yeah, and play it, or play it uh, yeah, on the Quest. It was very good. So. I had no problems. So you preferred with the OLED uh, display yeah, than with yeah, yeah. the Yeah, yeah, Especially at the beginning of Stormland, there's uh, some dark scenes and they look very good with the Quest because of the mm. OLED display. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I have to look like the picky one here because you guys know that I saw like some different stuff from yeah, what sure. you guys saw. Um, and that's what I said before, as I said before, like probably it's like because we are still in an early beta for it and they're still working on it. But I saw some artifacts also during Stormland, during the loading at the beginning. I don't know if you okay. noticed that. Very little minor artifacts, but the visuals were very good. I wonder if they're going to be able to also do some super sampling with that. Yeah. Uh, that's a question that I have, but there was nobody to answer it yet. Uh, it's going to work at 72 Hertz anyway. And I think it is noticeable uh, because like when you have Stormland that uh, you played before at 80 Hertz and then you go down to 72, I, I kind of found the, the latency there. Yeah, yeah. But the latency is good, completely playable. The only yes. thing I noticed is when I was moving very fast in my head, the, I was seeing like a, a crop, like if I had the screen very, very close to my face. It's strange, I didn't yeah, notice that. Exactly. And uh, <laughs> the weird thing is like they didn't notice. And, uh, Thomas was actually going yeah, crazy. I, I, sh I, I shake very fast. I, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Strange. Probably it, it ruined the program without before I played <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it. It did something, bro. Uh, but yeah, there's the, this thing that probably is gonna work. Probably not. I feel like there's there's a lot of time to work on it anyway. But yeah, I feel so. like the start is very good. Yeah. Yeah. It is. What about the tracking? I found it very good, but I found the refresh rate on the controllers probably a little lower yeah. than, uh, than the native one. What do you think? <sighs> yeah, I also tried the tracking. I, I shake the controllers and stuff, uh, but it's totally playable, at least for mm -hmm. Stormland for me. So yeah, yeah. Th this seems not to be a problem for mm -hmm. me, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, same for me actually, Xcurrent Wrath. I think I just saw some jittery, but I think that's just the Oculus Quest tracking. Yeah. But mm. it was completely playable for me too. Yeah, also the light here in the in the demo and stuff can be That's a little good. challenging for mm. 
for the control That's we right. so like have an inside out tracking we are in pods that are made of glass all around so like many times we have a problem because of that but anyway just to wrap it up so we don't go too long it's five minutes so you guys probably enjoyed it uh, but um, a question that I want to ask and uh, Voodoo already answered to it a little but would you still consider the Oculus Rift test like uh, right now, warm up from the experience right now, having this possibility with the Quest? To be honest, if I had to decide, I would buy the Quest. I would not buy the Rift S anymore. To have the, both the possibilities. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's a hard question, but I do think that whatever Quest offers is just so much more advantage, uh, more advantage now than just the Rift S. I think the Rift S has only minor advantages now. So mm -hmm. same for me, I think. The quest will be the better buy now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I think probably the same. Uh, it took out like a, a big chunk from the Rift S and usability. I feel like uh, you still have a better quality uh, with the Rift S in the video. So if you are really like a, a, a graphic uh, whore, <laughs> <laughs> if you really want the best like graphic possible, I think that that's the way to go. Should I beep it or stuff? Or not? <laughs> Uh, but probably it's the way to go. <laughs> but the OLED display, uh, you know, guys, I prefer OLED display. I say that every time. So for me, it's like it starts to be a, a hard buy to like uh, consider the Rift test because like uh, those vibrant colors, those deep blacks, like for me, they really make the difference. That's right. Yeah. And and to be honest, I felt like being in uh, in the Vive Pro but playing Oculus games. I don't know if you guys had the same feeling because we all have the Vive Pro yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. It's been yeah. a long time for me since I started playing the Vive Pro. Yeah, but for me uh, as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's right, it's, it's much better with that. So, mm. yeah. Okay, but we're going a little too long. Hey guys, stay here, so I'm back from OC6. I have a little bit more information about this cable. It's gonna be $79.99, the original one from Oculus. It's gonna be USB Type-C. USB Type-C but uh, you're not gonna be close to just a cable that let's be honest a little expensive even if it's long and it's gonna give you the possibility to charge it while you're actually doing the streaming of the content as well you're gonna be able to use any USB Type-C cable but Oculus is not gonna do a process where do certification from for different cables so it's really up to you me and uh, all the community to try all the different USB type C cables and see which one will work and which one not so I'm gonna keep you updated of course about it in the future the beta is gonna start in November without the cable and in Q1 around January gonna have the cable directly from Oculus that as I said it's gonna be $79.99 and yeah let me know what you think about it in the comment below uh, do you think that $79.99 is a little too much do they probably want to cover uh, the Rift S in that way do you think that the Rift S is still alive or they killed it uh, well we're gonna talk a little more about that topic in, in a future video for now let me know your impressions in the comment below and of course thanks to Oculus to bring us there they gave us travel and accommodation so we were able to cover all the event for you guys and share all our impressions about the new products and the new software that is gonna arrive more videos very very soon like medal of honor you don't want to miss it and uh yeah thanks for watching thanks so much to Cass and voodoo of course you're gonna find the links of their channels in the description below so subscribe for them and subscribe to the guy in the middle as well because like why not and anyway guys <laughs> if you if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel it's gonna be above her uh, for more of vr tech and all the coverage from oc6 i see you guys in the next video thanks for watching ciao see ya. ciao